Well, hello, good people. Today, we're gonna to take a look at some custom SDXL Lightning models. I'm gonna go ahead and click Generate here. You're gonna see by the time I start talking, it's gonna be done. Now, these SDXL Lightning models are basically distilled models where it allows you to create images. This one is just five steps with a CFG of 1.5. You see, it's generating really quick. Let me lower this to four and a CFG of one. With this particular setting, I'm getting a three second generations. Almost feels like I have a 3090 under the hood. If we look at the quality, it's not that bad actually. It looks pretty good. Now this one looks a bit soft because of the low CFG in steps. Let's go to five. Let's increase this to 1.5. So suggested steps are four to six and one to two CFG. Let's open that one up. See the eyes are much more clear, more details in the hair. Got a photography lens in here, probably because it's in my prompt. Yeah, 35 millimeter camera. Let's take that out. And this is the Juggernaut Lightning model. We're gonna take a look at a few of them. Before that, just a few weeks ago, this was released SDXL Lightning by ByteDance. As previously mentioned, this is a distilled model based off SDXL. Now what's different about this compared to Turbo, this was actually trained on 1024 by 1024. So the quality is very close to a standard SDXL model. When this was first released, it came out with several models for one step, two step, four and eight. But we're not gonna look at the base model today. As I said, we're gonna look at the custom models. Either way, if you wanna read about it, I'll leave a link in the description below. We're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna create an XY plot so that you can see the differences between the CFG and steps. So scroll down to the bottom, whether you're on automatic 1111 or forge, if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see under script, we're gonna select XYZ plot. And under X type, we're gonna put our CFG there. So in the dropdown of the X type, we're gonna select CFG scale. And then in the value side, we're gonna put one comma, 1.5 comma, and two. Now it's up to you if you wanna go further up, but typically one to two is good enough. So the X type is gonna show from left to right at the very top. For the Y type, this is gonna be up and down. So we're gonna make this steps, okay? So we'll select steps. Suggested steps are four to six, some maybe higher up to eight, but we're just gonna go four to six. So we're gonna go four comma, five comma, six. And the only other thing you need to add, and this is just personal preference, is the grid margins. You can go 10 to 15. I'll just put 10. This is just the spacing between the grids. For the model, we're gonna use Juggernaut XL V9. This is the latest lightning model for that. And the last thing you wanna do is utilize the same seed. You can either put down one, two, three, four, or put in a seed of a generation that you like. This will take about a minute or less, give or take, depending on your GPU. So let's take a look at the results here at four steps, CFG one to two. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. And we can see at CFG one, it's got a slightly more faded look, which is fine because that's in the prompt. It's supposed to be more of a analog vintage type of look. But as we move up in the scale, you see that the blacks are deeper, the shadows are darker. There's definitely more deeper contrast. But you'll also notice at CFG1, it's more of a black leather jacket here. It turns into silver with just a 0.5 increase in CFG. And between 1.5 and 2, the attire still looks very similar with just a bit more contrast. Now, if we go down to five steps, we lose a bit of that faded look with a CFG of 1. Same story with the contrast, but now you see with the steps, the black leather jackets match between these two and then we get a silver one here and with six steps you see that there's a little bit of variance mostly in this middle picture here from the one above still looks very similar and if we step back and look at the overall shot you can really see even with the slightest change to the cfg and minimal increase in steps there's still quite a bit of difference between the images now let's change it up a bit. We're gonna change the X type 
to represent the different models. So we're going to look for checkpoint name. We'll select that. And in the drop down, we're going to pick four different lightning models. The four checkpoints we're going to try out is the Epic Realism Flash Gordon, RealViz XL4, Juggernaut XL V9, which we just looked at, and Mysterious SDXL. As for the settings, I tend to like five and a CFG of 1.5. Let's go ahead and generate this XY plot. And here are the results between the four models. Now, Mysterious probably has better settings to use. We can totally adjust it based on the suggested settings. But the other three, you see that uh, they have a very similar look. I do like the natural look of Epic Realism. Let's take a closer look at them. So we have Epic Realism and RealViz XL. Both look very good. I tend to gravitate towards Epic Realism because it, it has that nice raw vintage look. Can't complain about RealViz, great colors, good contrast. Whereas with Juggernaut, it still kind of tends to have that hyper realistic look. I'm sure we can prompt better for it. It still looks great. And Mysterious here looks okay. Again, probably the settings that I'm using. Now, one other thing I want to walk you through is utilizing high res fix with these models. Let's go ahead and enable high res fix. We'll click on the drop down. Now the upscaler recommended is this one, NMKD CX, CX. <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce that. But I've also tried the ultra sharp one. That one works pretty well. High res steps, you want to select two. Denoising strength is always personal preference. They recommend 0.35. And we can upscale it at 1.5 or even two. We'll leave it at 1.5. Now I'm going to look in the back end how long it takes. So a normal generation is between three to six seconds, depending on your settings. For the upscale, it took 17 seconds. Here it is at full screen view. If I click on the magnifying glass here, pretty good details and very much honors the original. So yeah, I'd be totally happy with this workflow. If you think about it, a regular SDXL model took roughly 13, 14 seconds to generate for 1024 by 1024 on Forge. But now if you're using these lightning models and you use high res fix, it's roughly about the same amount of time to generate one image. Now, initially, I'm quite impressed with the lightning models because the quality in the details are above SDXL turbo, in my opinion, especially with skin details. I haven't really tested this extensively, but from what I see so far, the quality looks to be better than SDXL Turbo. So let me know in the comments below if you've been already trying SDXL Lightning models. Have you tried ControlNet with it? I'd definitely love to hear from you all. Now, if you want to know the difference in speed using a 3060 Ti like my card with eight gigabytes of VRAM between Forge and Automatic 1111, make sure to check out this video. Until next one, I'll see you when I see you.